Welcome back to Google Guru. This video is brought to you by NeoNova. Hi everyone, I'm Bob Butchko with NeoNova Network Services. Today we're going to look at the new image editing tools in Google Slides and Google Drawings. So first you'll need to create a slide or a drawing using the Create button in Google Drive, uh, or if you already have one, you can just open it up. So I already have my Employee of the Month template. The first thing you'll want to do is insert an image. I already have one in my Google Drive that we're going to insert. Harold's a pretty good looking guy. But you can see that this image doesn't really fit this slide. It's, it's too tall. I like the face shot, but that's really all I want. So Google has added in a crop image tool. So you'll need to select the image, and then the crop image tool will appear. And if you click, then some black borders will appear at the corners and the sides of the image. And you can click and drag. It's a little tricky because you can also dra grab that little uh, box at the corner, which will actually resize the image so you need to be careful that you're grabbing the right thing and then you can crop it the way that you need and that's a little bit more I'm going to take this side over a little that's a little more of the shape that we want so now we have a nicely cropped image the next thing I want to show you is the masking tool so if you click the down arrow next to the crop icon you're going to be able to apply a mask shape to this and you can see this isn't exactly centered so what you're going to see is if you click the crop image tool while you have the mask applied then you can actually adjust the mask and you can also move the image around a little bit too but you can see here that uh, it's a little bit too uh, too tall so I can actually make my star a different size when I have the crop image tool selected while my mask is being applied and then I can click and it looks like I have it a little bit off here, so I'm going to go ahead and adjust that a little bit more here. Move my picture around, and then move that star up a little bit so it's not quite as tall. There we go. Now we have a nicely cropped image, and some of the shapes will also have little yellow boxes that you can then use to adjust some of the shape settings. So now we have a cropped image that has a mask applied to it. The next thing you can do is add in an image border. That is something else that's new. You'll see these line tools when you select an image. And you can change the weight, change the line style, and then also change the color of the line. So now we have a nicely uh, edited image that we can then resize for our employee of the month. I hope this was very useful, and have a great day.